Hey everybody, and welcome to today's video in which we are going to unwrap the Rondo chair that we modeled in the previous videos. So if you haven't watched those, make sure you check them out because this is the model that we end up uh, creating. All right, so since I'm going to be doing the uh, unwrapping in Unwrap 3D uh, or actually Unfold 3D, the first thing I'm going to do is select my entire chair go over to uh, here go to export and export selected choose where you want to select this thing and make sure you export it out as an obj so obj and uh, rondo base click save and export it out as as it is so i'm not going to change anything all right so next thing we want to do is hop in uh, in unfold 3d and continue there so let's go once inside unfold 3d go over to file and load uh, obj find your uh, obj that we just exported out and click open so this is going to import the chair here so we can continue working on it now the first thing that i want to do is make a short work out of the very simple uh things like the legs so what i'm going to do is uh, select all of the legs so f4 uh it's going to go from f1 f2 f3 and f4 it's similar to like selecting one two three and four inside uh 3ds max so f4 will select all of the elements so i want to select all of those legs and click on isolate great now what i'm going to do is select f2 uh, or actually f3 select all of these polygons go on the bottom select that one that one that one and this one and now since i have a chamfer at it you're gonna notice that till we come to the uh, corners i need to increase this or grow my selection easiest way to do this is by just simply pressing the plus uh key on your keyboard and the minus will shrink it the plus will increase but uh, another thing that i want to uh, mention here it's the plus that's uh, not on your numerical key but actually the plus that has the equal sign on your keyboard as well so once we have that i'm going to press the c button and make a cut to everywhere where i have the selection of those polygons which is uh, exactly what i need them to be next thing that i want to do is uh, select one edge on all of these uh chairs like i'm gonna try and get the middle one here it actually won't that make that much uh difference because whichever uh one we choose it's gonna have pretty much the same result but i'm trying to keep it consistent so i'm gonna try and select the ones in the middle like that and just this one is left Control L to uh, make that into a loop that's going to go all the way uh, across and C to get the cut. All right, so with that done, I'm going to click on the unfold button. And this is going to unfold it as it is like so. What I want to do is select my uh, legs here, move them over to the side. So uh, W, E, and R worked just fine for rotation and moving, just like in uh, inside 3ds Max. There we go. Which is a bit different in the newer version of Unfold 3D, might I add, but uh, that's a whole another thing for a different video all right so what i'm going to do is uh, i'm going to select my corner edges here like that and control l to make it so it's uh going all across and i'm going to uh, click on here on this thing where it says edge vertical so you notice that my selection just became green which kind of gives me a bit of an issue because here I kind of missed this thing. So, okay, like so. So make this thing vertical. There we go. Did I miss this one as well? Yes, I did. Awesome. So make this one vertical. And now what this th does is basically now when I try to uh, optimize this, it's going to make those straight. I want to do the same thing for these guys as well so on the top here 
select the corner edges like that one all right find that one as well and we want to make these guys horizontal so now when I go and optimize this there we go so this is the brush for the optimize it's going to uh, make them a bit shorter but that's not going to be a problem because uh, later on we're actually going to optimize everything and make it so it's uh, in tune or in size with everything else so I'm going to move this thing to the side like so all right so I have the, ch uh, the legs more or less unwrapped now I want to do the seat the seat is pretty much uh, not that hard to create all you got to do is isolate the seat select the bottom here just one edge over here loop it around and cut now I can leave it as it is but since I have this dip over here what I want to do is go in here and loop in the dip and cut that is going to re uh, relieve that tension that we have there so again here make that loop and cut that's as far as we need to go just click on the unfold and voila we have this thing unwrapped perfectly like so so like both of them move them to the side it really doesn't matter where it is at the moment so show again Unra uh, select the one on the back and isolate this one now we need to go in here select one of these edges select one on the inner side as well and loop them around this is going to create this uh, selection one edge here another one on the side here loop and cut all right awesome that's gonna do just fine now what i want to do is select one edge here and cut so we can uh, get this entire thing uh as one stripe get in here since it's going to be at the bottom it's not really going to be seen like so all right I need to do the same thing for this interior uh, piece here. So let's try and do it like so. I'm going to select this edge there and cut. And do the same thing on this side as well. So select one edge, loop, cut. All right. Awesome. Now let's try and unfold this thing like so. All right. We're getting an OK result like so now uh, what I'm gonna do here is uh, select this edge loop it around the loop is gonna go all across so hold on alt and deselect the things that you don't want to in this case I want to just get the edge going all the way up to here so zoom out same here on this side as it is and make it so this thing is horizontal on the bottom the reason for doing this is now that when I go and uh, optimize this, the base is going to be horizontal as it is over here. So we're not going to get any of the distortion on the wood texture. I want to do the same thing over here as well. So loop it around. Make sure you select the corner and not like I just did. Oops. All right. Corner, loop it around all the way up to the corners since we don't want to mess up anything else this thing should stay as it is up to there so again make this thing horizontal I can even use this thing there we go all right awesome we can do the same thing uh, for this piece as well so let's go select the corner I hate when I have to do this all right so select both of those loop it around deselect the things that you don't need 
or the edges that you don't need, like so. Deselect the ones on this side as well. That one is exactly where it's supposed to be. And that one is okay. Make them horizontal. Select that one and optimize it like that. All right, optimize this one as well. For some reason, this thing is not behaving right. So let's I will sort it out later. All right, so next thing that I want to do is uh, get the stripes here. So this is the one going all across. So it's a bit long, but I guess since this is going to be visible, we'll leave it on as it is. This thing should be straight. So again, let's get this thing there, like so. And since they're going to be both straight, select them all. Control L and make them horizontal. All right, so select both, optimize them. And the one worked. The second one is probably going to be up for us to just go and do it like this. There we go. Awesome. Well, let's not screw that one up. Okay, this one is probably going to do the same thing. I should have selected these two guys as well. So select control L and straighten it up. Select these guys, go with the, like so. Optimize brush. Awesome. Move them all to the side. And let's see what's left. From what I can see here, I need to unwrap uh, this inner piece. So I'm going to isolate it. And actually, here's a funny thing. This thing, I don't have to do anything to it. I can just hit unfold. It's going to get unfolded quite nicely. Now, since I know that my reference image is actually cloth or fabric, if I check out my uh, image, like so, since it's fabric, it's going to have uh, some sort of a stretching on the corners and that is actually going to work just fine since we're going to have some amount of stretching on the texture as well. So as far as uh, in this case, this is just perfect. All right, so show it. And the only thing that's uh, left here to unwrap is the three uh, rivets or the three um, metal pieces and again these don't actually need to have anything done to them just un click unfold and show all okay so now that i have everything uh here unwrapped i'm going to right click and select everything click on the button where it says island rescale so it's going to scale everything uh so it has the same amount of pixel uh, density and click on pack uh, translate or uh, pack translate what the hell is translate anyways uh since we get everything uh packed up like this now I, the only thing that's kind of uh putting me off a bit is the legs but i guess uh, since we have we have the uh, the bottoms are uh, smaller and the tops are wider and we have the texture being straight that is why we are seeing this stretching red color here but that's not actually uh too much of a problem in this case so now i can go in click on file and save obj and this is going to save all of the information that we just did on the uh, unwrap UVW and transfer it to the OBJ file that we just exported out from Max. So let's go back to Max and see how this thing looks like in there. Inside 3ds Max, I'm going to select my original uh, chair and delete it. Go in my folder and import. 
and import in the file that we exported previously. Since I can see that I have the green here next to the texture coordinates, this means that it does have the UV information uh, applied to it. So like this, I'm going to select all of the elements for the chair, put on an unwrap UVW modifier to it, and open in the UV editor. As I can see, everything here is uh, unwrapped. So now if I go in and uh, apply a material to everything here, which let's, uh, let's quickly just add a checker pattern uh, material. So assign material to selection, add a diffuse. I'm actually going to use one of my textures for checkers. There you go. I can see my entire chair is unwrapped and ready to have uh, textures applied to it and be rendered out. So this about wraps up our uh, Rondo chair uh, tutorial. So I hope you guys had fun and you managed to learn something new. If you do have any questions, leave them below. I will meet you in the comment section of the video as always. If you enjoyed the video, then please click the like button. And if you're not subscribed, now is a great time to do so. As always, thank you very much for watching and I will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.